back here with Greg Jennings. It is now time for Say What? Yesterday, Joe Burrow was in the news when his hands measured in at nine inches. Some people seem to think that'll make things a little difficult for him in the NFL, but Joe Burrow is used to being an underdog. Say What? I mean, so when I was transferring from Ohio State, I was third on the depth chart as a junior coming off a broken hand, a broken throwing hand. And not a lot of people really wanted anything to do with me. People, I mean, people like Alabama were calling and wanted me to be their third string quarterback. And I was like, me? Like, you guys, you guys must not know about me yet. Uh, uh, I, so you like that? I, oh, of course I like that. Listen, I, I have to be fair and honest with my commentary on Joe. I, I would not take Joe number one overall. I think two has got a higher ceiling. I think Joe's ceiling is a good to very good NFL quarterback. I think Tua's ceiling is a great NFL quarterback. But I love his personality. I love his tweets. I love his answers. I love his swagger. I I, I think he has handled himself as well for, throughout this this burst onto the national scene as far as you know a guy who was third string quarterback having to transfer to arguably the best statistical season in college football history as well as any 23 year old could yes the way he carries himself and what he says in that clip right there everybody feels that way when they feel like they're slighted or disrespected wait you must not know about me Right. Like every every athlete specifically. Do you feel like that because you were wearing a first round pick? Uh, I mean, yes. For me, when I look at the guys that went in front of me, mm. give me and, a name. And I, shoot, uh, Chad Jackson. Ch oh, Patriots! You could have been uh, you could have been a Patriot. So Tom, it's quick story. First time I played against Tom Brady, he comes up to me in, in Green Bay after the game, and he's like, man, I tried to get him to get you. He's lying. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he, he would have been better off, but I think but he's Chad lying. Jackson. I know, Chad Jackson. Sorry, Chad. It was a list, but yeah. I love the confidence. He's like, Jenna, I don't think about it. Jenna hates it. I hate that. I hate you hate it. You, I, you would rather act like you've false been there humility. before. Nope. Uh, it's not false humility. You don't, it's just you don't like that. It is. No, she would rather someone. It is false humility. I'd rather see You're what she was doing. Them to, I like the are, way. You are ask, acting them to act like they've been somewhere they've never been. Yeah. Well, they, so it's false. You, you'd rather someone who. They've been there, just not to the same degree. He knows what it's like to have cameras in his face, and he spent a year at LSU being the man. Right, but not nearly as big. I just don't want to. But he was. He you said better back right it there, up. Right, right. Well, he just had the greatest statistical season we've ever seen. And, it, and all the power to him, and it was wonderful, and I'm proud of him, and that was amazing. But if you're gonna. But you're gonna that, have but, comments like that. But I that just, comment, but oh, Jenna, he's saying that Alabama, this is his college team, no, offered him a third string quarterback job. And as his, a junior. A, and his response was, you must not know about me. The way he backed it up was he went to Alabama's rival, beat them, went undefeated, and won the national championship. He's not saying that to Cincinnati. You, you must not know about me. He's not saying that to Patrick Mahomes, right? Like, I you, you, the, if people did what you want them to do, we would never know who these guys really are. They would all be robotic. We have an idea of who Joe Burrow actually is. Like I just would rather him be more Tom Brady and, and less, I don't know, Baker Mayfield. And I don't know if he's going in one or the other direction, but if I had to choose a direction, I'm not saying he's one of those two. You, I would just, and it's, this is my opinion, I would rather the Baker Mayfield. Tom, Tom Brady walked up to Robert Kraft before he played in a single NFL game. He was already a billionaire, Robert Kraft, and said the best decision you've ever made in your life is drafting me. Thank what, is you. That acting and like then that? didn't say another thing. No, okay. I mean, come on. Like, this is all revisionist <laughs> history. It's all revisionist history. I'm always on the wrong corner with you two. Let's stick with quarterbacks. Uh, among the many teams with questions this offseason, you got to talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. No word yet on whether they will bring back Jameis Winston, who was coming off a 30 interception season. That's door number one. Door number two. Could it be Tom Brady? Bucks head coach Bruce Arians hinted Brady could very well be an option for them next season. All right, Nick, Brady or Winston as Tampa Bay's next quarterback? God, this is so fascinating to me. <laughs> no, I, I mean it because now I don't think Tom will, I don't think there's any chance he moves to Tampa. Just flatly, I think that I, I do not think 
No, just listen. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Okay, I'm not from I'm not from a coast. I'm not from a big metropolitan city. I'm, so I, I'm not disrespecting Tampa. But when you're Tom Brady, just like it didn't make sense, like LeBron was not going to pick Milwaukee, even though Giannis was there when he was moving on. He only picked Cleveland the second time because he's, he's from there. there. Like he, when you get to a level of stardom, it it's tough to say I'm going to go down to this city. And so, and so I don't think it's realistic. But if you remove that from it. For the better option for the Bucks, it's so fascinating because Jameis is unlike any player I've ever seen. Because Jameis is, if you showed me highlights, a cut up of Jameis's 25 best throws from last season, you, you, would, you could convince someone, oh, he's the best quarterback in the NFL, the best. And if you showed a cut up of his 25 worst throws, you would say, are these replacement players? Was there a strike and we got scabs playing? I've never seen someone like him. And so if you're Tampa, you know what you're getting with Tom Brady if he were to be interested to a degree. It's a deteriorating, steady, all-time great who's not going to make a lot of mistakes, who's going to make all the right pre-snap reads, is not going to be able to make all the throws. Jameis, you do not know what you are getting for week to week. Play to play. You couldn't pick two more different quarterbacks. And so it, you know, this is an element of our chocolate or vanilla. That sounds bad given the quarterbacks. It's an element of do you like what's your taste? Do you want the exciting extremes or do you want the boring middle? I, I Bruce Arians, he's the no risk it, no biscuit guy, right? He seems like a guy who will deal with the exciting extremes. But if you're a Tampa fan, I feel like Jameis is taking years off your life. I, I, the, the, it, I've never seen a quarterback like him. Wait, factor it in. He did have off-season laser surgery. So maybe the laser 30 surgery, yes. laser, so maybe the, the thirty interceptions sure, is part of that. Better. Maybe we'll go with the 30 touchdowns. Yeah, I, I go with Jameis. I go with Jameis Winston. He's younger. The ceiling is higher. Uh, the potential is there. And you, as a coach... Every coach believes that whatever a player struggles with or whatever they don't do well, I can fix that. I can mold that. And with Jameis Winston, you just have to believe that this is not going to be him for the duration of his career. Because he is so great in that little highlight clip that you're talking about of the goods. And then you get this guy that I mean, conducting an interview with Jameis Winston, he says all the right things for the most part. He carries himself well. But then you have this, who, what is he? What, what are you doing? I think you ride that because you believe that you you're going to mature out of that. He, there has to be this mindset of a guy, an individual, where you just totally believe that he's going to grow out of you those phases. played with a guy who tended to be risky with the football in Brett Favre. I mean, what was it like playing with him? Is it, do, you, do you feel like you, you can't really trust every no. play out there or no, no? No, absolutely not. You love being on the field with guys like that. And I'm, it sounds crazy. And Brett Favre did not throw, I mean, he's an all-time leading interception yeah. <laughs> thrower. So, I mean, that, that says a lot. But he also held the the touchdown record for a, long for a long period of time. And you take that, and as a receiver, you love it because you know anywhere on the field, you are an option. You are in play because they believe they can throw it and they can fit it in any window. And as a receiver, you want that because you want the opportunity to be able to make a play for your quarterback. And I'm not saying that all the interceptions are on Jameis Winston. A lot of them. A lot of them are. <laughs> but once he gets to the point where he can kind of control and make a better decision on the fact of, oh, if he uh, gets not, to that not point, that. he's great. Listen, if, if he ever gets to a point where he makes better decisions, because bad decisions have plagued him throughout his life, it would appear, then he, he's great because he can make all the throws. He has all the confidence. But there, his, the first throw of his NFL career was a pick six. The last throw of his rookie contract was a pick six. In between, I mean, what? He, in between then, he's through 88 interceptions in 72 games. It is an insane way to try to play football. And the only reason you can have that type of propensity to turn the ball over and be in the discussion is because he also threw for 
5,100 yards right. and 33 touchdowns. If I'm the Bucs, I franchise him. I one more. I, this was the prove-it year for Jameis. He had his best and his worst year simultaneously. <laughs> I don't know how it's happened, but it's literally what he did. So I franchise him one more time. And the other element is, can Tom Brady fully take advantage of Evans and Godwin? The, 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 the speed, deep downfield. That that's the other. That for me, it's kind of it's a little different than than the Chargers. Yep. They're not a big crossing route running team. These guys are big. They get down the field. Down you gotta the field. hold the ball a little longer. Yep. Something that Tom Brady has never been one to want to do yep. or does because he wants to get the ball out of his hands, get get the ball into his receivers' hands and allow them to make plays. Well, where they make their hay is down the field. Down the field. Absolutely. All right, let's take a break. Coming up, was last night the first step in LeBron passing the torch to Zion? That's next for Sinks First.